السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ فرینڈز ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل وائل ورکنگ آن اسپورٹس آرٹ فٹنس ٹی آر تھرٹی تھری ٹریڈ بل مشین آئی واز فیسنگ پرابلم دیٹ وین دا پاور از اپلائڈ دیز رجسٹرس ہیٹ اپ آفٹر اے فریکشن آف سیکنڈس دا مین سرکٹ بریکر ٹرپس آف اٹ واز ناٹ پاورنگ آن جسٹ اونلی کنیکٹ پاور فرنٹ پینل لائٹس آن اینڈ امیجیٹلی these resistors heat up and the trips off are just giving smoke from here here is input terminals at this point one terminal is going directly to the bridge rectifier the second terminal that is from here it is reaching at this point it is soft start circuit or slow start circuit to protect in rush current because here it have 470 microfarad 400 volt capacitors two capacitors in parallel capacitor bank why this circuit is used because these two capacitors are large size capacitors to charge these capacitors at initial stage it need a in rush current protection when we apply power here is a transformer the same voltage from here one pin is going to this pin and the second is reaching at this pin 220 volt go to transformer and it will receive voltage here these bridge rectifiers will rectify it and this processor section will turn on when this circuit is active then this circuit will turn on this relay when this relay will turn on then it will connect these voltage here and it will reach to this resistor network here we have 200 ohm resistors then these voltage will reach to this bridge rectifier when it will turn on the first relay that is here at that time it will pass these voltage to this resistor network then here then it will reach to bridge so bridge rectifier will start rectification then we will take voltage at this output terminal to here and here we have a choke an inductor so this inductor is to for filtration then it will charge this dc capacitor positive side the negative side is connected directly from here and positive through this l1 inductor now if we look at the circuit why this was tripping off 220 volt line input that is here it is reaching directly to the bridge rectifier the second line is reaching at this open contact of relay number 1 this portion is soft start section and the same voltage 220 volt are reaching directly to transformer which will produce power to the next circuit that is microcontroller sec section and control section when this microcontroller will activate at that time it will give command to relay number 1 and relay number 1 will turn on when this relay number 1 will turn on it will shift its points and now this line voltage will reach here now if we see this relay is off the voltage will reach to this r1 that is 200 ohm resistor three resistors in parallel it will reach to the bridge rectifier second end one line is connected directly the second line now it will come through this resistance in ideal condition it have to produce a voltage to output point of the bridge rectifier there is a jp1 that is a jumper here is connected inductor filter choke reactor when it is connected here then it will allow to pass the voltage to the dc rail that is here capacitor 1 and capacitor 2 these are the large dc capacitors this igbt is open it is ideal condition and the negative will reach here at this negative terminal and this negative terminal and igbt is negative terminal so these igbts are open these don't have any drive in that case the capacitor will start to charge when these will maintain voltage we can say around 90 volt 100 volt at that time 
this relay will turn on first these voltage were reaching from first relay to the resistance and this was open but now it is closed when it is closed it will produce voltage directly to the bridge rectifier now this resistor is bypassed in our fault condition when the resistor was heating up that was the initial startup why these igbt's were damaged these both were short circuit so the dc rail was directly connected to positive to negative after a specific time when the microcontroller was turning on this relay relay number two because this soft start section is controlled by the microcontroller when the microcontroller will produce a command after a specific time it interval initially it was giving total load to the resistance because after bridge all the circuit was giving short circuit due to shortage of these IGBTs but now when the microcontroller was giving command to this relay and this relay turned on now there is a fully short circuit there is a no current limit resistor in the series so at that time the machine was causing to trip off the main circuit breaker in initial startup there are no voltage at first start that is soft start at soft start the voltage were applied to resistor and the bridge rectifier to charge the capacitors but these IGBTs were not allowing to build the voltage and these were causing to heat up this resistors when this circuit is short circuit the total load condition 220 volt this resistance and 0.7 volt 0.7 volt for both rectifiers and next we have short circuit so all the load will apply all the voltage will apply to this resistor so this resistor network will cause to dissipate more power so it was causing to produce smoke overheat and after a specific time when the microcontroller was turning on this relay at that time this AC line was totally on the bridge rectifiers this line here 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 and then here so all the line voltage were applied to the bridge and short circuit so bridge rectifier was safe because it was high current and the machine was tripping off the main circuit breaker when we removed these igbt's at that time our prob problem solved let's check it so these two igbt's this one and this one 30 and 60 igbt these were short circuit when these were short circuit these were making direct short circuit on dc rail so that was the reason it was making problem it was making smoke here and then it was tripping off the main circuit breakers so i replaced these igbt's this time this circuit is charging now it started working and now we don't have any short circuit here on this DC rail And I will connect jumper here in DC rail to bypass the coil. First it was series lamp here. At that time the lamp was glowing all the time. Why? Because the positive voltage were being discharged through these IGBTs from here from negative to positive rail because both IGBTs were damaged. In this way we can check the voltage on capacitor bank. It is now 337 volts stable. Before this, this it was not allowing to maintain the voltage at DC rail because 
the decibel was directly was being di directly discharged through these IGBTs. I hope so. This video is informative. If it is informative, hit the like button. If you have any question, please let me know in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.